Yeah. Is that a whole show deal or right off the top? Uh, you know, I just took a look at the Doppler. I think I may wear it the rest of the evening. You've been watching a lot of the Doppler. That Great game. Good comeback by Pittsburgh. We'll go back out to that game in just a bit with a game day gang. Regardless of this weather, and everyone is talking about it, yep. two teams playing in the Super Bowl will be identified tomorrow. We're going to help that process along over the next 60 minutes. But first, exposing the unbeaten in college basketball. After today's game at Villanova, Kansas coach Bill Self said, quote, it had been coming. We had been putting a lot of Band-Aids on our deficiencies. Kansas jumping with Villanova. Digger Phelps knew who the breakout player would be. Curtis Sumter, Villanova. He got hurt the day before the uh, Notre Dame game a couple weeks ago. He's back. He averaged 17 points and 8 rebounds before he got hurt. I think having two games under his belt, he's the one guy that can be the breakout game for Villanova. Okay, points in the paint, inside, outside. Curtis Sumter. Digger hits the nail on the head. Curtis Sumter hits the three. Nova up. They don't look back. Sumter, another three. He had five triples in the game. Said Self, they exposed us. Sumter again on fire. He had 25 points. Nova rolling. Now, before the end of the half, this is ugly. Kyle Lowry throws a punch in the stomach of Jeff Hawkins. The referees take a look, realize it is indeed a punch. Lowry ejected after the game. He was suspended for Nova's next game with Notre Dame. Villanova, though, responds. Mike Nardi three at the end of the half that started a 34 to 6 run for Nova. Nova only lost four games coming into this into this one by a total of 10 points. Allen Ray takes over then he hits a three. They led by as many as 32. Another three. Oh goodness. Jay Wright. What happened? They've been through a lot. They've just continued to work. I think it's a real um, sign of the character of these kids that we have at Villanova. It's really nice. You don't you learn to savor these. You savor these. Nova hit 12 of their first 18 threes. Ray had 27. Jay Billis, what happened to KU's effort? It wasn't that Villanova beat Kansas that was the surprise. It was the fact that Kansas quit in the second half. Bill Self had to take out his starters midway through the second half to see if he could get some kind of energy and life into his team. When he put them back in, all they did was turn the ball over and go even deeper into debt on the scoreboard. The key was Curtis Sumter. Curtis Sumter is a four-man, and Kansas could not match up with him at all. He had five of six from the three-point line, 25 points, and Alan Ray was unguardable with 27. Also, knocking down big threes. JB, we'll hear more from you later from up there in stores. Kansas preseason number one. They probably would have stayed there if it weren't for the fact that Illinois has been a wrecking ball of late. The 21-point loss, the largest regular season loss by a team that was the preseason number one of the coaches' poll and the only loss of 20 or more. Rock, chalk, Jayhawk. Not, not this time. <laughs> a good